jury in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, deliberated for about 12 hours and then found a gun store liable in the shooting of two police officers. The officers filed suit claims that the store was negligent in selling that weapon. Tonight, Seven on Your Side's Addie Hampton spoke to an upstate gun shop owner about that case that could impact gun stores all over the country. Mike Jones, who runs the gun shop in Simpsonville, says there is only so much they can do if someone's trying to make a straw purchase. In other words, illegally buying a gun for somebody else. We do try to ask questions. We try to listen to the dynamic between uh, people when they come in. And in most cases, he says there's nothing suspicious happening. But let's say a gun sale ends up in the hands of a person who didn't buy the gun. Someone who uses that gun for bad. Should the gun store be held responsible? If Badger Guns had done its job on May 2nd, then Bryant and Graham would not have been shot on June 9th. That's exactly what a Milwaukee jury was charged with deciding this month. In 2009, officers Graham Kunish and Brian Norberg approached 18 year old Julius Burton for riding his bike on the sidewalk. They struggled. Burton pulled a gun, shooting both officers in the face. Kunish lost an eye and had to have part of his brain removed. Norberg was shot in the mouth and still has bullet fragments in his cheek. Every day. Burton was arrested and charged, but take a look at this. Surveillance video inside shows Burton with a friend at the Badger's gun store a month before the shooting. Court records say he paid the friend $40 to buy a gun for him because he was underage. The store clerk appears to help the friend fill out the paperwork. That clerk told jurors he was unaware the sale was an illegal sale, a straw purchase. The last thing we want to do is put a gun in somebody's hands that has, that's going to commit a crime. But the jury says his store has to pay up in the millions for both officers. Legal experts are saying this could set a tone across the nation for how gun cases are handled. Mike Jones says he sees both sides. I do feel for the police officers. You know, I just retired from law enforcement myself and I've been through a, a shooting and, and um, so I do feel for them in that case. But he says the blame is really on the person buying the gun. Yeah, I feel like the burden is on the person who is actually making the straw purchase. Um, because the only time you're going to do that is because there's a person that can't buy a firearm. And obviously they don't need it. And that person needs to be held liable. But unfortunately, most of the time, you know, you have to follow the money. Everybody wants to sue the business instead of sue the actual person that's responsible. In Simpsonville, Addie Hampton, 7 on your side. Well, there are currently a half dozen other lawsuits pending against gun dealers or gun stores for allegedly allowing the illegal sale of firearms. Today, that verdict could impact those and future cases.